Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Remick. Welcome back to more of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. We've got mail, as per usual. G okay, someone's actually sent us a letter there, because I don't think we sent off three fossils last time. Yeah, we've got one letter from home and two from the museum. And one from the Hacker Room Academy saying that our house is still trash. I know. Either way, home. So, my dear Daniel, your father and I hiked up the mountain to admire the pretty four leaves, but I found myself enticed by an aroma. Pretty soon I was hunting mushrooms like mad. Your mum, Junior Mycologist. Oh, okay. And the present for that one is... Open. A mushroom. I think you can sell that for cash, so we'll keep our eyes open. Of course, we know what these are. Oh, uh, we found this, we found that. We're selling them, either way. It don't matter. But yeah, hopefully you're all doing well. Um, I missed the raffle at the end of the month. I know, we, we'll get that one day out. The will how to set a reminder on my phone that actually reminds me, but uh, I will do it, but either way, I'd, I would like to go throw that. Should we sell the ticket or should we throw it away? Because I don't know if it would work between years is the thing, so, hmm, hmm, you know, we'll toss this last letter and we'll go see if Nook's offering anything particularly interesting and work from there. Yeah, well hopefully you're all doing well. I'm working this evening, but not for the super long, so uh, I figured I'd get maybe one or two videos recorded before I need to up and dip, and then... Like I said, work backwards. Maybe I'll export something while I'm at work. Of course, it won't take up the whole two hours of my way at work, but you know, kind of, yeah, it, it will make good use of the time. And I'm sure for myself for that. Either way, hello, Nook. What do we got then? Nothing particularly amazing. Um, okay, well, fair enough. I'd like to sell. Let's just let's see how much this gets. Hmm. Yeah, we'll throw in the mushroom as well. And September, so it's like it's a year until next September. I suppose we'll save it. I mean, I don't think there's anything stamped on it corresponding to the year, so we'll stash it somewhere. And you know what? I want to sell some of this paper because it looks really boring. Um, it's not winter yet, so we'll sell that as well. I'm just a free of our pockets. So, um, 7,400, it's not the worst thing in the world, not the best thing, but... Hey, what are you going to do about it? The answer is nothing. Either way, thank you, do come again, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure why I made him sound like a vampire there, but it's fine. Ugh. Either way, what have we got on us? I think should we go fishing a little today? I'm kind of feeling fishing is like a way to make some cash, so may as well. And, right, although, the moment I leave, I do notice there's a few dragonflies flying around. Of course, it's October now, so a different set of bugs are going to come out to play. So hey, if you guys sell for at least a few hundred, I may as well catch you. So, ugh, come on. Come on, play nice. Play nice. Play nice. No, you're not gonna play nice, are you? Oh! Okay, this guy is... Okay, he was gonna play nice, but then he... Gotcha. Okay, two red dragonflies. It will... It's not much, but it's... Okay, I'm hearing a money-making strategy. <laughs> I really hope these sell for a lot, because... Holy... Oh, and I will believe who it is. It's another red dragonfly. And another one. And another one. Is my game okay? What? Are you guys, like, worth a lot of money then? Like, we'll figure out when my pockets are full. Don't get me wrong, but... My god. They're just... They're everywhere. I'm, I'm kind of glad I sold the paper now, you know? <laughs> Means we can stay out here longer. I mean, this is a one-time occurring theme. You know, stuff in my pockets with as many of them as I can. Now, how many more can we catch? Three more. Challenge accepted. There's one. <laughs> Oh. They're, they're, things don't normally spawn this freely. Why Why are they in such, like, massive swing? Not that I'm complaining, but, like, you know. It's a little jarring to have awful look with fish and bugs for ages, and then, you know, every quarter you turn, there's a brand new one. Again, I... No words. No words other than, I hope you make me money. And you're the last one. Uh, feel honored or something, I guess. <laughs> and and now we see if that made us money. If it did, I know what we're doing for the whole episode. Also, are you a good t-shirt? Yellow bar shirt? Nah. I think it's yellow and black, which isn't my core scheme, so... Eh. Off to Nooks we shall go. <laughs> are we a, are we a millionaire, or are we just... belligerently average? Because I'd, I'd bet... Like, they're this common, there's no way they can go for high, right? He says, as he's about to be proven wrong and given the thousands of bells upon thousands of bells, right, Nook? Show me what you've got. Gladly. A, what of the same bug? <laughs> it's like, 
I have a feeling I've slightly pushed them towards going extinct, honestly, but... If I had it all, my price comes to 800 bells. Not the worst thing in the world, but we could do better. Okay, so common stuff doesn't sell for a lot. Good to, good to know, and I probably should have known that from the offset, but... Hey, you win some, you lose some. Mainly lose. So, you know what? I think we'll go back to our original plan of fishing, then, because... Like, they, those guys are going for less than 100 bells each. Yeah, we can we can do better. We can do better. This Crucian carp, or oh, regular carp, apologies. Yeah, they, 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 okay, these carp in this river, uh, they'll treat me better than those red dragonflies will. <laughs> Arguable boy. Uh, either way, I'm trying to think of like, random things to talk about as we go through the episode, but I can't think of much right now as a thing. Like I said, I'm working later, and I've got a I've got a drink paid on. A customer bought me a drink to have, like, as and when. I've wrote it down on the sheet, and I am slightly anticipating getting to go in and drink it. We're only open for two hours for some reason at this day of the week. But I'm there the entire time, and I'm the only member of staff, and no one can stop me. Hope my manager doesn't see um, that. Oh, shit! Okay! Come on, bong, bong. Please, it will work. Oh. Damn it. Oh, if I dug holes behind myself, we would be Neuramic Bowling. But we're not. Okay, well. You know what? I'll take it. It's like a few thousand, right? And still more, you know, than we got for Dragonflies. So it's like, yeah, okay, okay, we're turning a profit. Still crazy to see my bank account slowly increasing like this. Do not get me wrong, it is like, whoa, that's whack. Ugh. Either way, yeah, no, bar work, I don't really have much planned for today. I have, however, um, I mentioned this in the Minecraft Hardcore video that went up last night, but um, inspiration struck for a second channel video again. The issue is, is I actually need to like, replay all these games I'm thinking of making videos on, but, um, you know, I've now got, like, a prospective fuckload of second channel video ideas. I will need to space out the ones on major game releases just in the name of keeping viewership high, but, like, the second channel's roster is looking crazy by the day, so I'm really excited to, like, get down to it. Um, of course, that was requiring me sitting down. I was taking a step back and just... Ooh, okay, okay. Praying Mantis. I see you. But yeah, no, I'm going to take a little step down and just see what I can do with the second channel for the time being, because I don't... Oh, you walked back towards me, and that was your gravest mistake. Migratory Locust. Okay, I bet those guys sell for more than... A... <laughs> Whatever they were called. Red Dragonfly. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm uh, going to look at what I can do with the second channel. I really need to give myself like a motivation boost. Um, the Fall Guys video I put out on that was meant to be that, then it kind of never went anywhere, but I just wanna I wanna get into the rhythm and make something worthwhile and then just hope that momentum carries me. Again, the issue is is I do need to go get tested for ADHD because I think that may be part of it, because I procrastinate way too much. Like I specifically said at the beginning I want to set a schedule and sticking to it has been like worse and worse. So I do want to go get myself tested for that, because if I can get put on any meds that, like, um, you know, can kind of help, like, focus or something, that'd be great. Um, because I suck. I procrastinated a bunch today, um, case in point. Like, I did a bit of, like, script work, but that was, like, it. So I would, um, I walk into that. <laughs> Common free wine is, is Neuromic on ADHD medication. <laughs> yeah, so, um, we'll see how that pans out. Um, hopefully well. And go from there. Uh, with that said, though, police station, do you have anything for me? I'm here to make money, and stealing from people, technically, a good way to make some cash. Every item here is lost. You can take anything, I think. You say there's one item in stock, but I'll take it, because it has to sell for at least a few hundred, right? It is a, a pear dresser. That would fit my room theme, is the thing. I'll debate selling it, and debate putting it down. Okay, thank you, Booker. But yeah, that's so the second channel stuff. I do want to have like a proper look at restructuring it because I know I said like scope creep and stuff has been a right pain this year, and it has been. But I would like to get two more videos after the second channel before the end of the year. It's just getting there and figuring out what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. Because honestly, I can open it now. Um, I haven't really spoken with this, but like my I, I start writing a review and then like um so my motivation is like short lived. I need to have like. I hate to say it, but I need to have like a hyper focus on a project so I'll just get it done. Just why there's so few and far between. Um, like previously, I only just wrote stuff when like I was super passionate about it. Like I hate the word, but like hyper fixation, as TikTok would say. Like 
that, like, that was the only way that would propel me forward. And if you look at my Google Docs, it's like super evident that I cannot, and I genuinely mean this, cannot stick to like making a project. Like, I've got scripts for a Facebook game, the original Thrillville, Persona 4, um, Zero Escape um, 1 and 2. Um, a kind of video that never saw the light of day that I like subtly cancel, which is like fair. And then Shemu 3, then a cancelled ACNH follow up video. And then a, rev a revised Shemu 1 review, all just kind of sitting there. And you're not biting, are you? <laughs> it's like, I could have turned most of those guys into a video, but I just never got around to it. But I, I would like to, is the thing. Oh, oh I see. So that's, that's how it's working. It's pushing it towards the shore rather than out. Gotcha. But yeah, no, I would like to um, I would like to sort out some of that stuff. Kind of wade through it as and when. Finish the script, because the moment the script is finished, we are off to the races with it. It's just a matter of actually finishing it, because... Once it's once I've finished writing it, it's kind of like official, you know? It's like, okay, I've done the writing part, now you're obliged to go make it. So, once I can get through writing the whole script, I think we're good. It's just this episode of 4 video was really daunting, but I think I might add to it as time. I'm not going to stick to the promise that it will be the next review. I'll just kind of whittle away with it, and I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a step back and just think about how I can make the channel function a bit better. Um, with that said, though, why are you here, Tortimer? Today's Explorers Day, Daniel. Oh, yepper. I don't know much history, but I think somebody pretty important explored something important today. Let me give you a little something to encourage your exploratory spirit. Here! It's a bottled ship, it screams exploration, huh? I know it's not Captain's boat, but maybe it'll encourage you to head out to the island. <laughs> if all else fails with the review channel, I could just get a career in voice acting. <laughs> oh, my rolls would sound exactly the same, but that won't, that won't stop me. And it scared fish away. It's really not what the plan was. Oh shit, we... Okay, well you know what? We can free up a little bit more space, I suppose, so... Museum? Okay, yeah, that's okay. Attach that. I did not realize that we'd already caught so much stuff to fill up our inventory. So I think we'll, we'll head back, catch something extra, and then drop into Nook, see what our haul is, because... I kind of... I, kind of, I like to think that we've got a little bit of a thing going here. Like, got our ship? Not sure if we'll sell that. Maybe. We'll see if there's room for it in the house, along with the pear dresser on the way back, and go from there. But yeah. Um, so that's kind of the only other thing that's been on my mind. Second channel stuff finally getting started is like the, the the key thing I want done. After that, again, it's just a big old question mark, but we'll crack it. I just don't know when that may be. So again, if you're an avid viewer of the second channel or you're rather interested in it and you've checked out a bunch of my reviews from the playlist, um, do bear with me. I am really trying to get it sorted. It's just been difficult. <laughs> Ah, but with that mini little update over with, another fossil question mark or a gyroid? <sighs> okay. I mean, it sells. No, it doesn't, apparently. When, where did I pick up the extra thing? Oh, okay, so if you put, throw that in my pockets, then I can pick that up and that'll be... Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, mega alloyed. And then, okay. So, up uh, the... If you're a fossil, great, because I can take you with me. Right, so your pockets are full. You want to swap it with the gyroid. And then... Wait, how do I... I don't... How do I... How do I... How do I eject this? Oh! Okay. Weird interface, but I'll take it. Anyway, right, let's museum, yada yada yada. Absolutely nothing on here. They know the drill at this point. They can figure it out. And bam, 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 in you go, and then I just pick you back up. Masterful. Right, either way, I'm really hoping I don't run into any more dig spots, because I can only do that, like, once. <laughs> but, here we are. Hello, house. I need to drop stuff off, so you're going to have to put up with me. So, yeah, pair dresser and ship in the bottle. We'll see if we've got room in here. So, already, just, 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 just stop, stop being alive. Please, just please, XOXO. I kind of don't want that if I know I can have a pear dresser as the thing. Like, honestly, that means you kind of get cash either way, but that blends in a lot better with the theme of the room than, you know, the other thing did, so. I am tempted to just go for it. 
Either way, I'll push that there, and I think... Yeah, taking its place there, that's pretty Gucci, all things considered. And then, as for the ship in a bottle, I don't know. Okay, all those guys are eyeing me up, and it makes me extremely uncomfortable. But can I... If I drop this, what's it looking like? I mean, I'm fine. Like, it's not, it's not the greatest item in the world, don't get me wrong, but it's like... It's special, and told him I went out of his way to give it me, so... Yeah. Although, that does leave the rest at the mercy of Tom Nook, so... Let's do this, then. Just, uh, except make... Again, this acre system, it's bothering me less, but it still bothers me. Like, the camera and, like, the slowdown to get into a new acre, it bothers me. Deeply. But, we'll sort it. Either way, we're starting with 61,000. I am here to make money and not much all else, Nock. So, a carp, a migratory locust, a gyroid, exotic wardrobe, some more fish, including a sea bass, like a turkey fish, and a dace, another carp, the mega haloid, all of that comes together to... 10k bells. Not bad. Genuinely not bad. That was actually kind of a banger. I do come again. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing you too, if you're going to give me that much for what is essentially just crap I picked up along the way. <laughs> I mean, you know, of course we didn't get a full price breakdown, but I think that was at least fair. Ugh, with that said, where should we go next then? Post office? I mean, I don't see myself running into many more fossils, unless we find one on the way to the post office, so... May as well get that out of the way. It's like, it's not money we're earning now, but we'll earn it next time, so we can technically classify it here. It's like, you know how it is. Business and all that jazz. Either way, hello, it was a ball. Oh, nice. There is also a bug who will now be mine. <laughs> You're a different type of locust, though. Not that I particularly care, because I'm not collecting for the museum after the hassle that the text was, but... I'll take you. Anybody else hanging around? I'll pick you, please, then. I swear, the weed problem in this town is worse than it's been in any of my other towns, and I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Either way, hello, Pelly. Time to give you letters for the umpteenth time and get them back in time for next episode. Sell up, it's a whole thing. Either way, welcome, how can I help you? You know the business by now, Pelly. Send mail one letter, if you ask if I want to send more, the answer is yes, then I send the other letter. Repeat until I've got no more letters, and then we dip. I just wish that explanation was how long it actually took to mail them, but you know, we get ahead of ourselves here. Anyway, would you like to mail more letters? No. Ugh. And with that, we depart. Oh. Honestly, this has been a pretty concise episode so far. I'm only at minute 17 on the recording, so I'm actually kind of down to keep... Well, you know, go for another haul, see how much we can cram in. Again, the red dragonflies are kind of off the menu, but everything else can be fair game and probably shall be. Fortunately, I can't sell my neighbours, though. That would be the easiest way to get um, rich. Anyway, I think the river starts, like, just a little bit more to the right. Well, it starts, but it's, like, it's an area that we haven't fished in yet today, so... Well, let's see if we can do this. I think are you here? There you are. I, I forget how big these town sizes are. It's, it's kind of, like, semi-surreal. It's like, oh, yeah, I forget it's this big. Like, either way. Oh! I, I, I'm sorry, did that just... Did you just not feel like cooperating there, Bobber? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. I too have my off days where I just wish to not cooperate. Right, either way, what are you gonna be? You've played hard to catch, or at least my Bobber has, so I hope you're something helpful. Day, you're fine. The dace was in the bundle last time, so it could sell good amounts. You never know if you don't try. Anyway, I think I think the most money is to be made down at the sea, though. So we'll follow the rest of the river and go from there. And yeah. Honestly, not too bad of an episode. I've kind of just enjoyed being here doing fish stuff. Yeah, I doubt I'm going to get that guy because he's in such a weird spot, but... I don't know. We can come and get, get, back, get our revenge on him, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Either way, ocean fish. Give me my money. Or not, that decision is entirely up to you. It's like, hmm, where are you? More importantly... I see you hiding. I really hope you're a fossil. Because that easily earns me money. And it also frees for space my inventory from this paper. Like, did we get it from the dump or something a few episodes ago? I don't know. Either way, we actually freed up a slot in our inventory during that, so I won't complain. <laughs> that means I have to swap back to my fishing rod, so it's like, you win some and you lose some. Ah. <sighs> right, anyway, what have you got for us, Ocean? Anything, anything at all. 
Like, if it comes to the shove, I will just take shells back, I suppose. Alright. Come on. Come on, be something big. Be something delicious. Be a shark in disguise. That really would be helpful. Or a really horrific looking sea bass. Okay. Hello. Oh, nod. <laughs> okay, are you still in sudden front of your house? You need to get a different hobby. Anyway, I see you. I see you. And now I'm going to get you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, Cleo. I, I guess you can spectate. You know, like, I'll still insult you for standing in front of your house for however long it's been since I last walked past you, but... You know. I appreciate your condoned support. <laughs> Villager questioning his own sanity, I see. Oh. Oh, by the way, random passing thought. Um, I've been meaning to mention this, so it's kind of awful that I'm cramming it into the end now, but I am thinking of getting a better capture card. Um, in case you don't know, I'm on the Ava Media LGB LGP White. Um, which is kind of like, it's only a 1080-30 capture card, and also it appears to be on its way out in terms of quality. So I have been thinking, I think it's the USB connection and also partly the HDMI ports, but I am thinking of upgrading to an Elgato capture card. Um, so I've kept, I've kept my eyes open. So if you do suddenly see a little bit of an increase in the quality on these videos, do let me know, because... Well, I'll know if I've got a capture card, but you know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll not announce it and I'll wait for somebody else to point out, Hey! Animal Crossing looks particularly crispy today, and I'll be there like, yeah. You're goddamn right, Knuckles. This episode is crispy, because it's powered by Elgato's fancy new stream engine software. I couldn't bring myself to do that in a recording if I tried. Anyway... I I'd hunch that'd be a dry road, because otherwise we would have found too much stuff worth money in a single episode, and we can't have that, can we? Ugh. Either way, I'm aware that the time is getting on, so I'll probably catch this fish, head back up to Nook's, sell it, and wrap things up. If he would like to turn around, that would be great. Please! Yes! Maybe! Look! Maybe! Gotcha. Perfection. <laughs> Ugh. See, every Animal Crossing game has like different fishing physics, and that always kind of like, strikes me as weird. Because the thing is, is um, Pocket Camp came out before New Horizons, that's what I kind of knew fishing as for a while. Um, and the thing is, is Pocket Camp's fishing is arguably the best in the franchise, but nobody wants to have that discussion. But literally, those fish detect you from every single angle. Like, the moment, like, your thick bobber makes, like, contact with the water, those guys know where it is and, like, will start biting. And it's like... Damn it, it's really helpful. And they've got New Horizons where the detection's like a little bit whack, and it's like, oh, take me back. I do need to get back into Pocket Camp though. I, I know it sounds weird, but I do slightly miss it. It's kind of like reviews though, in the way. I can only properly get down to it when I'm severely interested. Sorry, I don't like the word hyperfixate, but when I'm severely interested in it, Pocket Camp is like the greatest thing to ever exist and permeates all aspects of my existence. But when it isn't like that, it just kind of fizzles out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't know. I'll try, I'll try to get back into it. Anyway, like I said, I bought a foldable phone last year and I tried playing it and the aspect resolution was a bit... Yeah. So I'm hoping they maybe fix that. Because if, if so, that would be... Mwah. That, that, would, it, that alone would probably get me back into it, but... We'll see. We shall see. Either way. Um, only other thing left to see, I suppose, is how much money did we make on our second haul? I assume it'll be slightly less, but how much slightly less? Right. Do we noted? Okay, is Nook just more loaded in this game? I... He never usually pays this much for, like, simple books and fish in other games, right? Like... If we didn't pedal to the metal in something like City Folk, especially along the coastline, would we be able to make that much money? Because, I mean, that Grace Grace furniture ain't gonna pay for itself, and trust me, with Nook's, the way that Nook's turnip prices have been this week... <laughs> it's like, maybe maybe we will need to resort to that. <laughs> Ugh. Either way, thank you, Nook. I'm gonna go plant some flowers do my outro. Also, it sounds weird, but I finally got a new, properly used to the, the GameCube controller. <laughs> um, I know at the beginning of the series I was having trouble finding out where things are, but everything feels a bit more natural towards it now, which I'm... I'm kind of smug about because it's like, yeah, you know, I did learn how the game works. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> yeah, all people say that the GameCube controller is like the most banging controller in all of existence, and you're damn real wide, it is pretty good, so I'm quite chuffed with that. But I think I'm going to end this one here, so if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps in a bunch of lets me know once you're of this and all of that good stuff. But until next time, all that said, all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Remick and Peace. Out.